Alright, welcome back everybody for some more Crash Twin Saturday. And last time we finished off Uka Uka. And I think mostly the Iceberg Place. And now we have no fucking clue where we're going. <laughs> I'm just gonna go grab the gym or, or show off where the gym is. Alright, good. Because we did end up getting a gym off screen anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Because we were trying to find the fucking thing, but we didn't know where the hell it was. And luckily yeah. Dalton remembered, so what you gotta do is you gotta hit that exclamation crate first. Yeah, we haven't grabbed it yet. Oh, no, we did. Maybe we did and didn't say. No, it auto saves. Fuck. Fuck, I don't even know anymore. Uh, no, we never did grab it, I know for sure. Oh. Oh, because I think we're saving it for this then, weren't we? Yeah. Because I died once and I got brought back up here and he said screw it. Oh, yeah. I didn't grab it. Fuck, I don't remember this stuff. I think you can probably... No, if you jump down too far, you die. Yeah, that's right. This game actually has that. I know it's weird for a crash game, but yeah. <laughs> yep, see? Did it again. I don't know why they even implemented that in the first place. You were so close to the ground. Why not be able to land on it? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what moves me, honestly. Ah. I don't know. That sneeze coming on, but it hurt. There okay, there we go. I survived that time. Yeah, oddly enough, it looked like he died. If fucking Link can jump off like the top of like the fucking Kakariko Village thing, all the way down <laughs> to like the flat ground, I think Crash should and, and take half a heart. I'm pretty sure that Crash could probably survive with the fucking um, Aqua Aku mask. You think you'd be able to? Yeah, these, you know, one thing that bothers me, there's no shadow on these fucking things. You Fuck. can't see your shadow. That's stupid. Yeah, it is pretty stupid. I got Okay, we got all the ones here now, so I can just progress. By the way, we're not going back to the other gyms. I'll probably end up doing that myself. When I say we, I mean, like, right as now. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Did you hear about a possibility of a Sonic Adventure remake? Uh, yes. What do you think? Uh, that could be very interesting. Okay, here I don't know if we're waiting for that thing to come toward us, or we're just waiting for something to pop up, or... Uh, I guess we need to have the link pop up. I guess we can't go there yet. I say go in the lab and see where we can go from there. I wish the game would give us some kind of, like, sense of direction. Or have somebody tell us. Oh, hello, it's oh. Cortex. Oh, Alright, we figured it out. This is the Psychotron. Gateway to the infinite dimensions beyond our universe. Wait, do we ever? The ninth and yeah, we beat all the fucking things here. Yeah. Tenth dimension, and there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal oh. the riches, and restore the natural order of things <gasps> with me on top. What do you say? Uh, thank you, Waku. I think. Belief, and we have... or... Probably Uga. They probably this fucking used him. All is lost unless this way. Come with me. <coughs> and we will see a place called Candy Island. <laughs> it's got bubblegum rocks in I gotta skid it. Got gray <laughs> trees. That doesn't sound very good to me. The misadventures of Flapja. Oh. Sorry. I haven't, I haven't thought of Flapjack in a while. That show was weird. Very weird. I know one of my friends liked it. <clears throat> I didn't hate it, I watched it, but I just... I don't know, sometimes it was funny and sometimes it just wasn't. It was just, you know, it depended on the episode, I guess. Like, to me, Chowder was pretty funny. I like Chowder. And that was around the same age of when Flapjack came out. <clears throat> God damn. My throat is all fucking fucked up. I can. My eyes are droopy as all shit. I can barely even hear. <laughs> That's probably why I'm talking so loud. Fuck. I can't figure out, you know, the tone in my voice very well. Or how loud it should be. Sucks being deaf. I imagine it would, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Did you try to spin into that? 
Yeah. You, you spun into a TNT crate? Oh! It's a TNT crate. I thought it was another one of those things that back there. No wonder I kept dying. It, it does look like a normal crate, though. Actually, when you look at it from a... Oh, you mean like it looks I like one, it was of, one these? of these? I thought one of these. Oh. To me, it had like a brownish tint. Yeah, one thing, though, I would not want to be deaf blind. Or even mute, for that matter. That would suck. I mean, yeah, you could write stuff, but... Fuck. I'd take too long. <laughs> yep, see, this is what I'm talking about. We gotta go through the skiing oh. part. <laughs> Are there gonna be any gems or anything on this one? I think so. I'm pretty sure there probably is. So just do what you can. If you can't get them, who cares? <laughs> you see, I don't understand Crash's idea here. Why he gets the idea to jump Cortex's butt. Well, he's kicking it off, but... I don't understand... I'm gonna check. Like, what uh, yeah, slip slide, ice capade, yep. Did he know that there was gonna be a thing here? Like, did he know that we're gonna have to ski down this? Also, this mission's pretty... I think this one's more funny than a lot of the other ones, like that, for instance. Like, having, you know, Cortex's crotch literally, like, skiing on the fucking grind rail. Yeah, some of the gems you have to get by jumping on those ramps and shit. <laughs> I do remember this part. I'm wanna go to the hen house. Fuck. I think you go there no matter what. I think you're forced to. Oh. Because I think there's like <laughs> no other way besides the hen house. But like I said, this one actually has some humor to it. But this also... It's regular music this time. That's weird. <laughs> I think we fucked oh, up. Oh, fuck. That's so weird. Well... We also don't have as many li uh, as, um, as many lives as we normally do because we because we quit the game. Yeah, which is one thing I hate how some games do that. Fuck. Oh yeah, we're fucked. Probably. This will probably be our first game a uh, game over mainly because of how many lives we don't have. Yeah, that. It's mainly because of the fact that the fuck. What the fuck? What the hell did we do? I have an idea of what happened, but I'm not sure if it's true or not. When we first started up, okay, like whenever you run past a checkpoint box, don't they open up automatically? Or not? Uh, or do you have to run into them? I, I think you have to like run into them yourself. Okay. If that's the case, my theory is, since you missed the first checkpoint the first time around, see how the music's now picking up Fuck. if we hit that checkpoint? Yeah. I'm thinking that maybe because we had a checkpoint from the other area we came from it opened up that checkpoint data oh fuck okay well that's a game over how do i put it it basically thought that we spawned in the overworld instead of this but even though we did spawn in this yeah it's I like, what you're saying, it's like two different fucking checkpoints are overlaid here pretty much yeah i don't yeah the game doesn't know what the fuck's going on yeah, see, because we spawned at this checkpoint with this music. So we have to hit that checkpoint when we're on, like, as soon as we fucking first appear, which I think is bullshit, that we actually have to go out of our way to hit that fucking thing. <laughs> oh, well. It sucks like you can only, like, skip pre-registered cutscenes and not ones like these. Or pre-rendered. Pre-rendered, yeah. I know, it's pretty fucking gay. I mean, yeah, these scenes are funny, but they're funny like the first time you see them, and then after that, it's like, yeah, you might want to. Oh, yeah, see, it popped up. That's weird. I guess whenever you pass it, whenever they go. Well, earlier, like you passed it, but it never actually went up. So I wonder if that was probably the case. Even though we had the checkpoint, it didn't make any uh, show sign that it would happen. Speaking of which, back to that Sonic remake thing, I don't. I think they, I, from what I heard, Sonic team just wants to make one, or they say they would like to make one, but I don't think we have any confirmation on a possible project of it or not that I know of, or that I even read into yet. So I would be down for it, for sure. It'd be cool. I mean, it's Sonic Adventure again. I mean, yeah, but fuck, I'm fine with that. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Because those things look like you're supposed to avoid them. Yeah, they really do. They look like big blowy uppies. God, this gives me Crash the Titans vibes. Oh! 
You know what's funny? Crash of the Titans has co op. Oh, really? Yeah. You can play at the same time. Huh. Yep. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to Don Rumpel music. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, here we go. I got later on, he's like, Mother? <laughs> yeah. Or no! Isn't that like in a bathroom or something? Or is that in the hen house? It's in the hen house. Yeah, doesn't he say, like, excuse me, ladies? <laughs> yeah. I guess there's another hen house. Huh. Well, yeah, there's more than one, I think. Pretty sure of it. Also, Cortex's head is so weird. It really is. Like, it's so fucking flat right here. You know. It's funny because even in Crash 3, I always was, like, just uh, interested by his head. I don't know, the way it was designed was so weird, but cool, I guess. Oh, fuck, I had to jump. Oh, well. Alright, Alex, there's one gym for you to go get. Yeah, the, the mechanics here, folks, are really weird. Fuck! So that's why Dalton's having such a hard time because they're, they're awkward. Yeah. I was thinking get that gem again now. I can vouch for that one. This one's awkward as all hell. <laughs> jump. There we go. I think there's a gym on that rail too. It almost looked like there was. Oh fuck. Well now I can go check. You yeah, now I can go through the the rail grind. I'd say because it looked like it was on top of him. Platform. Let's say take the left. We can get up there. There you go. And then from there, jump on that rail. Oh, I, I didn't realize I was a rail. I guess there's nothing. I didn't see anything up there at that time. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> also, why would we even. Well, having an Aku would be nice because then if you get hit by a penguin, it'd be fine. But. Move on, Cortex. Yep. Ladies, excuse me, madam. Are those real? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Did you hear how you oh, said? Oh fuck, I've seen you. Yeah, even if you had Aku, you still have to jump over that. Did you hear how you said? Are those real? Yeah. <laughs> so that time, okay. So the first time around was the hen house. The second time around was the strip club, or I'm pretty sure it's it was pretty much just get strip club. <laughs> it's funny because like this is a it, it, it is a kid friend of the game, but a lot of games and movies do stuff like that where they have. Jokes that adults would get. I guess there's no checkpoint here. That sucks. <laughs> Why would they? <laughs> if you want, just avoid it. Yeah. I, I can do it. Uh, I'm not uh, good enough that, that, that at the game right now to get that. Fuck, I got it. Hey, well, I don't know. Maybe there was probably nothing in there anyway. I mean, there's a gym right there. So, I, I mean. Knowing this game, they're gonna make me or make me backtrack. So I'd rather made that one, honestly. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so you can get hit by that and be fine, but anything else, literally in the game, is a no-go. I guess. That's one thing about this game is, even though it's technically broken, it's still relatively fine for what it is. I think a lot of games on PS2 were like that. Like, these are awkward, but we're not trying to go for extra stuff. It's pretty fun. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say the same thing with, like, Sonic 06. Like, you can probably have fun with it if you just tried. If you didn't try to break the fucking game, it wouldn't be a big problem. You know? Mm -hmm. Some people try too hard to break the fucking game. And then they blame the game. It's like, well, yeah, because you fucking went out of your way to break it. <laughs> I mean, that happens. I mean, even Mario 64 has a shit ton of glitches that you could do. And pop. Oh, it's Dino. Dingo Dial. Yeah, uh, Dingo Dial. I did not hear what he said. It was too quiet. That's another. Oh, yeah, that thing went <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, it did. Damn. Your amount of treasure could never begin to compensate. Treasure, eh? Bonsa. Yeah, Cortez will just be there. Ah, uh, okay, he's dead. Are you gonna go fight Dingo? <laughs> no. Not yet. I don't even know if we find him, actually. High seas hijinks. Yeah, see, here's engines. Well, anyway, I guess we're here, and there's yeah. some big-ass dick rock that Dalton's jumping on. 
I'm just curious about it, but it looks like this uh, this world's bigger than I thought. No, I know you're curious. It just looks like a dick rock. Oh, that looks like the way we're supposed to go. I'm gonna go this way first. Yeah, because I thought I saw like a cave. I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing anymore. Let's play Tales of Symphonia. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's play Tales of the Vesperia Definitive Edition when it comes out. There you go. But I have to play the first Tales game first. No, you don't. Wait, where'd Cortex go? Uh, um, right there. Oh, wow. He's gone. Huh. Shit, he took off. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, go back real quick. Check that cave. I swear to God. Yeah, okay, it is a cave. I fucking knew it. It can't be where we need to go. No, it, it definitely isn't. I know for sure. I'm positive. I played yeah, this game. Yeah, this counts as the Ashberg Lab now. Oh. Well, either way, I think... I'd just check it out, because if it counts as part of the Iceberg Lab... Wait. Did we get everything in the Iceberg Lab, then? Uh, Gym-wise? Yeah, we did. Oh, so that's basically pointless. Pretty much. Oh. Oh, hey, extra lives. I mean... That can never hurt. This looks oddly familiar. Ah, just... Fuck it. Yeah. Probably. I got some lives, so that's cool. <laughs> Good enough for me. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like the Tales games don't really go into one another, do they? No, they, they don't. It's Except for Berseria and Zestiria. Oh. So besides those, it's like pick your own poison. Pretty much. Because like I picked Symphonia. Because uh, Zestiria, uh, Berseria is basically a uh, a prequel to uh, uh, Zestiria. Oh. And then now those two uh, take place in the same world, but in like a lot of time passes. Oh, I got you. Like, one of the party members in Berseria is like a dragon or enemy you, you can kill in uh, Zestiria. Oh. Oh. Fuck! One game oh. I tried to get into, but it's too hard for me to even fucking bother sometimes is Disgaea. I have the first one, as far as I'm sure. But, oh my god. You die, you gotta go all the way back. It's like, fucking Christ. Yeah, you keep your shit, but it's one of those games. It's Dark Souls before Dark Souls. <laughs> That's a very bad analogy, but for people that, you know, are new to gaming... It's the Dark Souls of strategy RPGs. There you go. <laughs> the reason why I say Dark Souls is because of the fact that, like, when you die, you go back to, like, where you started, you know? But Dark Souls, you don't go completely back to the beginning of the game. This guy says, fuck you, you're going back to the beginning of the game. It's like, holy <laughs> shit. You keep your levels, you keep your stuff. So it, it's kind of like... It's kind of like going through New Game Plus multiple times. Every time you die, New Game Plus. <laughs> it's an interesting concept, but holy shit. Maybe I'm too retarded to figure it out, but... Or maybe even the game might be short. I don't know. It might be elongated by the fact that, uh, you know, when you die, you go back. Those things never go completely around, so you're fine. <clears throat> Those look like Koala Kongs. Like a whole bunch of, like, just fucking clones of them or something. You know one thing I like about games like this? Is they actually program, like, walkable surfaces like this. Yeah, it's really nice. That you don't even need to be on. There's no reason to be up here. You know, that I'm sure, I don't look like there is. But it's one of those things that it's like, it's here, fuck it. It's so cool. <laughs> Fuck me. I, I get did it. I'm surprised you did. I don't know, like, I get a Jack vibe from it, you know? Like, whenever... Like, mainly Jack, too. Like, if you go on a certain platform that really has nothing to do with anything, it's programmed to where you can stand on it. It's like, wow. They went out of their way to do that. Maybe it's probably laziness, because if you, pro if, if you program the whole thing to be fucking standable, they probably just left it that way. Like, eh, who cares? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really a game developer, so I can't really say. Oh, fine. But I'm yeah. pretty damn sure in the game development, like, on this scale, is probably pretty fucking hard. Probably, yeah. Especially, imagine being a level designer. That'd just be... I don't know, like... Oh, fuck. When it comes to making, like, an RPG or whatever, that's even hard for us to want to fucking do it. You know? It's just... It's hard to think of what comes next. <clears throat> Story-wise, nah, really. I mean, 
that's one thing you could always do is like base off your levels off of the story, of course. But like things like this is like, who would want to come up with this? It's like throwing like a fucking Donkey Kong section. Imagine being like a fucking like Lego developer. Oh man, how to put all those studs everywhere and all those mini kits in random places for random puzzles and shit. That might be kind of fun. I mean, in a way. Is this where I'm supposed to go, or am I supposed to go up? I think you're supposed to go that way, but I say check that way, just get, uh, the back way. This way? Yeah. Fuck! That time was on you, not the It was entirely on me. I was just being dumb. It's kind of weird how this is a Sonic 06 of Crash games, but yet this is not really that bad of a game. No, it's a good game. I'm pretty sure most people probably think it's terrible, but I don't see how. <laughs> it's a really fun, fun game. I don't see what... There's not really that many problems with it. No. I mean, Crash Boom Bang, I can understand people, people play with like that, because it's just... Oh, fuck. It just seems boring. I mean, people don't even like Crash Purple. Really? Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I think it was decent. No, it wasn't your run-of-the-mill Crash platformer, but... it was, To me, it wasn't as bad as, like, Spiral Orange got it. I don't know, Spiral Warners just didn't feel right at all. Because <laughs> the minigames are pretty much just the fucking same, for the most part. Just with Spyro. And it's like, well, it works more with Crash because he's more of that kind of platformer. I guess we can't go that way. Ah, uh, okay. We locked off then. I thought we could, but no. <clears throat> yeah, so did I. These things bounce, by the way, so be careful. See, we do have a shadow effect on that, but we don't have it on Steel Crates. Why? I, I don't know. That's, that's pretty weird. Did they forget that part? <laughs> Probably. Might up. Might run out of time. Who knows? All I know is we're here now. Sorry, I gotta get my daily in. Uh, I've been neglecting those lately. I need to get back to it. I sure as hell haven't. Okay, I see you, Jen. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go <coughs> get it. I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. Like, I literally have no reason to be playing this game anymore, but I do anyway. <laughs> Why not? I mean, hell, I might as well. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably no end to it ever, but... I want to try to get all the all the girls that I can. You know? Yeah. Maybe one day they'll actually bring back Elf Elf. <laughs> Maybe. I doubt it, but who knows? You never know if you don't go. Yep. These are very wide, wide words. Not to mention I'm trying to get some fucking costumes too. Goddamn. Come on. And I also want to see, like, what the max level for these characters are, too. I assume probably 100, because, like, level 80 is when you get your last accessory slot. So. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I am dying a lot on this level. Took me a while to die, though. Oh, boob. Uh oh What is today, anyway? Oh, the 4th. So I have three more days before this event's over with. October the 4th. October the 4th? Yeah, it's just like a... Uh, a date that I know of because of some fucking line in a certain accent or some shit. Some certain line in Japanese anime? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like a very weirdly specific reference that I don't even know what I'm referencing. Oh. I wonder what happened if I just fucking threw a whole bunch of fucking just shit into making this this doll. <laughs> Waste almost everything I've ever gotten for like the whole week I was off and just fucking <laughs> throw it into one. And then get probably nothing from it. That's one thing that pisses me off is sometimes there's like recipes for characters. And I go to make it and the game's like, ah no, fuck you. We're just gonna give you what the hell we wanna give you. Yeah, what do you know? It's UMP nice. Fuck. 
which I already have UMP9. I wasted a good solid like 9,000 fucking manpower, rations, ammo, and fucking parts just to fucking build that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody already fucking have. Why? Camera doesn't want to do anything on this level. It kind of sucks. No, that's kind of the point. That's the joke. There's one. Well, you know what you gotta do. I miss. It's mainly because you can't see where the fuck you're gonna land, and that's my problem here. Why the fuck the steel crates don't? I just know it's a TNT blower upper. Yeah. I'm not trying to get over there though. I'm just gonna ask uh, you. I'll just do this later. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna get to the level right now. By I do it later, I mean Alex will do it when he gets pretty much. When he gets his fucking fat ass here if he even bothers. <laughs> like at this point, I feel like it's fucking worthless because I know how to get over there. I feel like it's fucking worthless now because we already went past these fucking goddamn gyms. And just I don't want to go back. I think you can actually jump from. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Alright, the camera worked for that segment. Believe it or not, I've done this part like not long ago. It's just like one of the only levels I don't have any memories of. Oh, I sure as hell do. I fucking hate this one. <laughs> this one's annoying as all hell. I guess by not long ago, I mean years ago, but this thing has stained in my mind for so long that I actually remember what. Remember some certain things here and there. Why don't we have a robot monkey game on the console? What the oh. hell, guys? Why because it wasn't that popular? What the fuck? Why not? It was on Jetix. It was obviously really popular. <laughs> like Sonic <laughs> X. And Kirby, right back at you. If you didn't watch those as a kid, then you probably were like 30 years old and didn't like kids shows. Kids cartoons. Kids animes. <laughs> Who knows? The Japanese version of those are probably like more fucking adult than what we got. Knowing half of what we got here. Probably. It's so funny, like Japanese kids, like they're they're kids shows. You know, they talk about like death, blood, just mutilation, just a bunch of other random shit. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> nope. But here in America it's like Little Tommy can't say the N word because <laughs> that's a bad thing. <laughs> now it's more like, you know, we can't have any sort of blood that's red or, you know, even if it's like a small bit, like with Dragon Ball back then. Like, yeah, you know, Dragon Ball had, I'm sure, some pretty. Uh, probably like mildly brutal moments, but. From what I've always seen of it, it looked like it mostly had just like, you know, somebody bleeding from their mouth or whatever. But, Pretty much. You know, that that's it. Like, yeah, I can get why you probably want to keep kids away from it because like that's one of those things that scares them, I guess. But, like it did me when I was a kid, but uh, yeah, as an adult, not really that much. But blood's a party, you know? Yeah. But we all have. It happens. I have like three of these things, right? Okay, I'm missing two, and I'm, we've already passed like one of them. One thing that I know kid shows do is like sometimes like if somebody scrape their knee or whatever, they'd show that. That's, a, that's like a natural everyday kid thing. Yeah, exactly. It's fine to show that, but when the second blood comes from any other orifice of their body, no, nope, can't show it. This is gonna sound really weird, but why not like you know? I don't know how to put it. This is gonna sound really weird, but what I mean is, why not teach kids more about like sexual stuff? You know, at least at an early enough age, because I'm pretty sure they would understand. No, we have to protect the kids from sexual stuff. They can never know about it. That's what I'm wondering is why. It's like uh, down in like Oklahoma, for example, they don't teach sex ed. Oh man, because that... you know what happens when you don't teach sex ed. Fucking kids get knocked up. Mm-hmm. It just... They also spread lies about condoms. Saying I... that uh, STDs get uh, 
uh, get through the condom most of the time. Oh. Is like uh, there, there's like this one guest speaker that uh, went to to a school and said, and like had kids throw uh, tennis balls at a at, at a uh, volleyball net and said, and then the, all the tennis balls that got through were the STDs like, linking to the condom, which just <laughs> isn't true at all. Wow. So yeah, uh, Oklahoma and uh, states like that are a crime because they they literally lie to kids. Yeah. Wow. You can even have biology teachers refuse to teach uh, evolution because it's not real. <laughs> oh, man. We don't want none of that fucking social Darwinism. Darwinism. My school. <sighs> okay, so what you gotta oh, do fuck. here... You, yeah, weird, right? <laughs> it literally is a boss fight. You have to... Uh, first, do what you normally do. Just run away. And then I think he'll throw something at you, and you gotta make him blow up his own spiked wood things here. Fuck! I'm not even getting hit by him, it's the fucking... I think it just... just leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, okay, so you yeah. have to blow up that. Yeah, this... This, right. this is... <laughs> this is when you know that the game was kind of rushed. Yeah, this boss fight... Is it doesn't seem very finished. They literally give you a subtitle telling you that you're getting into a boss fight. They don't even fucking tell you you're getting into a boss fight with like cinematics or anything like that. They just straight up just tell you, oh, here's engine. Okay. <laughs> just stand. Cause he, he shoots like three times. Don't stand near one of the wood things. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. I took the long way. Kind of funny how the game literally gives you a subtitle telling you what to do with Dalton doesn't even bother reading it. <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> Man, I'm into a boss fight? What do I do? Lure engine into blowing up his own thing. Yeah, I still don't know what to do. No, not those things. Oh, no? Oh, these things. Right? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's out. Yeah, that sounds good. He's gonna shoot three times and throw a TNT crate. We've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little slow in the head sometimes, so... Stand in front of, like, one of them. Wait for him. Throw. Boom. There you go. Do that three times. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can handle it. You sure? Yeah. Cause he might shoot off more than one or more than three times. He might, yeah. See right there, he almost got you. He almost fucking threw you for a loop. <laughs> and throw the TNT now. But I guess I understand why you were going for the flag once, cause it makes the most sense. All right, one more. Cause it didn't really specify what wood thing. It just said blow up, you know. Make him blow up his own fucking stand thing or whatever. If this was Dingo Dial in one of the early Crash games, he would have uh, reversed uh, directions to try to try to trip me up. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, he would. Might be standing too close. Yeah, yeah you're was. done. Yeah, I did it. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, but Engine has such a fucking shit fight though. Why? They just think to themselves, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, now it's one of these levels, huh? Yeah. Oh, that line. You know what's funny about that line? I fucking hate that line. Oh, you do? Yeah, you know what? That's why. Now listen. That's why I hate it. Oh. Uh... It's funny, <laughs> but it's so fucking annoying when you die constantly and you have to hear it every fucking time. Oh, oh. He is too fucking fast. Now let oh. me ask this. Oh, what? Yeah. Ah, oh, yummy fresh meat for my butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny to me, honestly. No, it's funny, but... After like the fifth bucking time, aren't you gonna get tired of it? Oh yes. 
Yeah. I, I, I literally have to hold down straight. I can't take any turns or else I'm going to die. No, you can't. Now, back to what I was talking about. Like, isn't it funny how huh. we go straight from the engine, fall down here, straight to another fucking, like, run section? Where did this come from? Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. I literally don't remember this level at all. No? No, not at all. I don't remember... I didn't remember what he said, but I do remember seeing that fucking dude all the fucking time, though. Fuck. You're good. Okay, I gotta scratch you, now. Yeah, you got to a checkpoint, at least, so you're fine. Cool. I think you still have to run, though. I imagine so. He's gonna come at me from this way. Yep. And now I gotta, get, now I gotta run this way. I guess it makes sense, because I think we fell back into, like, some kind of submarine thing that maybe Engine was working on. Or working with, or something. I don't know. Fuck. Well, we fell into some fresh meat for his pot. I guess. I just realized that now that we got past that section, now he doesn't say that anymore. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of a little bit disheartened. I kind of wanted to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down inside. Ooh. Now they're fucking adding in nitro crates like the assholes they are. Oh, I know. Oh. You know what this reminds me? This reminds me of that fucking uh, dragon section. Did you see that? No? What happened? And like, uh, phased out. Fuck! Oh, the boxes? Uh, no, uh, the, the guy. Oh. Like, he started, like, uh... Just... Uh, going in and out from the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. Would you... You want to join me for my Sonic the 6 playthrough? Sure. I need the things. I need the... I need the life. Yeah, but you're gonna die. Yeah, I know. Because you literally took one turn back, and the game's gonna be like, Nope, you're fucking dead. Oh, well, you might be fine. I say for fuck. that, don't double fuck. jump. Just straight up jump. If anything, for a lot of these jumps, just don't double jump. I know it's a safety precaution, but... It seems like it's quite faster just to do that. Okay, I got a life. Good. What the fuck? I didn't know this nigga can levitate! Ah! Well, there's your fresh meat for your pot. <laughs> ah, yummy fresh meat for my pot. <laughs> if you want, stay on the right... Well... Try to stay on the right side a little bit because there's a life that comes up, like, right there. Fuck. <laughs> well, there goes the life. But you can get again, I think. Maybe. Or do they do what normal crash does, where if you break it once, it's gone forever? I'd be sad if that was the case, because then I'd get a game right over. Right there. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Fuck. Here it comes. Game over. <laughs> At this point, I might as well fucking run into him and get the game over. No, I'm going to game. Never mind. I, 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 I died. How far back are we gonna go? Better not be fucking engine. It'll probably be the fresh meat for his pot, honestly, if we're speaking. Probably. It better be. Let's go, Crash. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> uh, are you serious? This is where you take me? I, I, I beat a fucking boss! And you take me to the beginning of the level? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Why? Why'd you do this to me, God? <laughs> there is no God. Just when I started believing in you. <laughs> Alright, speed run time, boys. I want to see Crash Alter and be and have it be really sexy. <laughs> Fake Crash. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Crash Alter. I oh, know fake crash is crash all time. Yeah. <laughs> you just now got it. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. My bad. No, I, I did say fake crash is alter. Oh, uh, okay. Because <laughs> goddamn, it's just god awful. This, as far as I know, this is the only section that I can think of that would probably do this. I, okay, I tried try it one more time. Oh, hey, like I got a checkpoint. <laughs> uh, nope, nope, nope. Fuck. I tried, I tried. I thought I could make it. Oh no. <laughs> it's funny the first time, though. 
I, I thought I had more it. lives. No, you dipshit. Uh, <laughs> okay, the real speedrun comes in now. Back to saying he's finished. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> it's canceled, sis. I'm gonna take a drink. How about you take a piss and I do everything else for you? <laughs> At times like this, I wish I was 21. I could just chug a fucking vodka, <laughs> drown away my sorrows. <laughs> Well, your fucking sorrows would be the last of your words when I drown your ass in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> keep this shit up. Well, if you can even get the bathtub to be full and fill up. <laughs> Nigga, all I have to do is just fucking <laughs> turn on that shower and it'll clog up eventually. <laughs> uh, yummy meat for my... It's funny, the guy looks like he's, um... From like a fucking Spyro game, I swear. Honestly, gotta, yeah. He reminds me of the guy from Spyro 2, the chef. The turtles and all that. You have to knock the turtles back into the fucking... You gotta knock them away from the soup. <laughs> oh, it's fresh meat. Fuck! Who cares? Same idea. What were you saying? Uh, yummy meat for my pot. Oh. Is it, uh, yummy fresh meat for my pot? Yeah, it's like, oh, yummy. Fresh meat for my pot. Oh, okay. That's probably what the title of this video will be. <laughs> and I'm sure the thumbnail will be this guy. That way people this are... This is good music, though. It's good music, it. but... You know... This is fucking bad, bad off. That fuck. Fuck. Yeah, it, this is fucking bullshit. I think you hit once, you're dead, because I think he catches up to you. You're getting a lie, so get the Woompas. How did we get another one? I know we fell down and got one. We went up to 96. We got another one right after that. Oh, we spawned at the checkpoint. Okay. Or Crash just moves himself. Well, there goes that life. That makes no sense. Why do you need to be... Oh, fucking God, this game. <laughs> You're Fresh going... Fresh meat for my pot. See how it said 20? Now it says 21. Yep. <laughs> I fucking hate this bitch ass. What's with the voice? <laughs> it is, it's so weird. You know what's funny? I think I think I'm finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Dom. That's right there. Don't worry, I got this. I can't wait till we do like Crash One through Three. Actually, would you be down for that? Uh, sure. If we eventually, ever, if we ever did do like the original games. Which will basically be like the third, fourth, fifth, fifth fucking time I've done them on this channel. <laughs> I could just we could just do the insane trilogy. Yeah. I mean, one that'd be easier on both of us. Okay. It's funny. I was thinking like, why would it be easy for me? I mean, Crash One. You know, yeah, you get you know, you get to keep your boxes. Like, well, yeah. Fuck! Of course I hate this area. That's because you keep fucking being stupid. You knew that was there. I thought I, I thought I was walking past it. That'll be fine. You have to be like fucking thirteen feet away from it, Dalton. Now you're just see. Now you're being ballsy. <laughs> you, you want to die. You want to become fresh meat for his pot. Really Do you don't. think this guy has an inflation fetish? Oh yeah, he absolutely does. <laughs> he goes. He goes the fucking bim bimbofication forums on, on like Reddit and whatnot. Bimbofication yeah. form. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a fetish where like a girl just gets bimboified. Bimboed? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a fetish. I did. What? I, I that makes sense. I don't mind inflation much, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, rock candy does it himself a lot, so you get used to it there. Oh, thank God. And then his, his cousin comes out. Ah, oh, yummy fresh meat for my pot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, there's Cortex. That's. Engine. Oh, never mind. But engine. Oh, um, how did he just now fall down? We. <laughs> <laughs> we, go, there, we um, it takes a life, and then we have to go back and do that thing again. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh, embryo fight. Uh, who's the guy on the left again? Uh, Entropy. Uh, He's from Crash Three. Isn't this a fight where embryo turns like really fucking big, and he's like that bitch that flops and shit? Probably. Yeah, I think it is. 
I just realized something. They literally threw as many cameos and boss fights into one section in this game. Yep. Again. Out of pure laziness. But the music's good, though. Oh, fuck. How was I supposed to know I was going to do that? I think, yeah, it's it's a beginner's trap. You're going to have to kill him at least two goes. You know that, right? Yeah. Granted, embryo is the easy part. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, I just fuck, I got fucking destroyed. When he slams the ground, just stay, in, just stay, like, near the edge, and then just stand. Okay. Don't move. Just let the ice crack. Fuck, if you think entropy is hard here, you should fight him in fucking entranced. Oh my god. Dude, that fucking boss fight was fucking horseshit. <laughs> it's kind of like his boss fight in 3, except on 2D plane. And it's just, oh, it's awful. It's awful in Crash Entranced. Which was a good game, it just... That was a weird one. Now jump toward him. Oh, yeah, you have to wait for the clocking thing to kind of... Go down. Oh fuck, we fucked up. Okay, I get how how it works now. You're gonna have to do this in one go, or else it's it's fucking over. You do it, so I don't have to take the blame. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> but the controls and things and the zip zap zoop zaps. Go so that way. Now, if we die, we can blame Alex. Yeah, you give me fucking no lives to work with. Well, I, I mean, if you're a gamer, you should be able to do it. You're a gamer. You should be able to <laughs> fucking do it. If we don't do this, I'm done today. Yeah, same. I'm fucking... I, I, unless it, it takes us back earlier, which I don't think it will. If it takes us back to the beginning of the goddamn lab, I am fucking done. I just noticed that my controller just fucked up there. At least I can use D-pad. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh. That would probably make things easier. Yeah, I'm sure it probably would. I'm surprised you didn't really, like, check on that. Fuck. This is actually a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Would your fucking thing just go down already? What are you, what are you using, Viagra? I'm staying in the middle because I don't trust this game. If I beat this, I get a fucking BJ tonight. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> if I beat this, we're going to Buffalo. Okay. And you're paying. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't really have the ability to pay. Well, guess we're not going. Actually, if I do be this, let's go to Buffalo. Oh. Alright, All right. we can go till later because I'm still not hungry right now. Yeah. I'm absolutely trying my hardest. Yeah, I, I, I realize. I am trying my damnedest. <laughs> I want that fucking goddamn chicken nuggets. I want, I want that W. <laughs> I want that W, goddammit. Give me that D George W. <laughs> what, what does it... <laughs> I can't do his laugh. <clears throat> What's the W stand for? George... Why was he even President Bush? No, it stands for... <laughs> no, Jeff, it stands for George Winner Bush. <laughs> George Winner Bush. Yeah. <laughs> George Winner Tonka Bush. Man, this boss fight's really hard, Alex. I can't do this. I didn't say it was hard. I just made you do it so I wouldn't have to take the blame if we died. Take the controller. I died like twice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this whole entire playthrough, Alex hasn't really like played at all. But, you know, I bet he'll fucking die and lose and, and suck cock. <laughs> I was about to say, you're going to die and then we'd be going all the way back to engine after you beat the boss. <laughs> Hold on, let me go somewhere so I can make sure oh, for yeah, a no. fact that we're fine. I want to make sure... I, I think the game auto-saved. I'm sure it did, didn't it? Fucking damn well better. I'm going to go up here to make another random bullshit checkpoint. Just in case. But yeah, like, I feel like the developers were like, you know what? Let's just throw in a bunch of, like, bosses. At one, one time. Because we have nowhere else to put them. Yeah, make a fucking level for it. There we go. Oh, it's, uh... Yeah, it's fucking, uh... Oh, it's Coco. Nice. Never mind. Yeah, it's Tim and Tony.
This is all because Kogo's a dumbass. Thanks to Perky here, must be repaired, and only one person can help. <laughs> My niece, Mina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? <laughs> Obviously, I've made a few modifications here. And there. <laughs> Quickly to my private dirigible. Set a course for Madam Amberley's Academy Here we go. of Evil. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Academy of Evil time, and eventually we'll play as Nina. It's like the third world, I think, because we have the we have the islands, and then we have the the iceberg lab, mm -hmm. and then we have that one. So we gotta go outside and follow him somewhere. Gotta go to his blimp. I said let's just do that and then call an episode. Okay. Just like get to the academy, basically. Yeah. Unless you want to keep going. Okay, thank God, save point. Now we for sure are good. I'm sure you probably don't want to keep going after that fiasco. Ah, uh, no, nah, I want to take a fucking break. I figured as much. Ah, yummy. Fresh meat for my pot. Now <laughs> I'm be saying that a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that instead, uh, instead of Itadaki, uh, petition to change Itadaki Mas into uh, yummy fresh meat for my pot. <laughs> I like how that iceberg in the background just like fucking teleports it in. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Alright. Funny, he's got a Gatling on the front. He never uses it. No, he doesn't. He fucking instead, um, maybe it's because he put it on the front instead of having it be able to be uh, used oh, elsewhere. On the side. Yeah. <clears throat> now we get to play as Cortex. They have those? <laughs> Can you imagine if they ever made like a fucking animated crash? Oh my god, another boss fight. I just want to let you know, you have ammo crate right there. Oh. Uh, on the right side. There you go. I don't know if this really was a boss fight. I think it was just like you fight all these assholes. I think that might be it. Why is that one not dying? <laughs> the whole's just having a heck of a time. <laughs> I think it's there we go. Okay, I did it. God damn. Just stay back here and shoot. There you go. This would be easy if it wasn't so fucking gay. Just keep mashing. I did it. Oh, that wasn't only really a bunch of a boss fight. <laughs> All right, we're here. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> we did it. One thing for sure, I do like the aesthetic of the Evil Academy. I think it's really cool. But anyway, we'll be coming here later. I'm starting to think that they made the worlds first and then the levels last. Probably. I feel like they did. But yeah, that'll be the end of this session. Basically, two episodes for you guys. And we will see you all next time with more Crash Montana. Yeah. And as always, take care, everybody.